Hi, I'm Gary, and this is my story. I want to talk about that thing that has had the most effect on me. The two things that that are candidates for that is all of the abuse that I suffered and the ECT when I was about 15 to wipe my memory. The two effects overlap in my life and it is difficult to to distinguish, to delineate between them. When I observe other abuse survivors and what they have gone through and the way they talk about their abuse and how it affects them, it seems that they have it much more in the surface of their life than I do. But they also have a lot more memories of the detail and the people who did it and things like that. When it comes to the ECT, I observe other people who have ECT, the same, they have the same problems in life that I have, the same difficulties, can't get things together, can't build anything in their lives. It's it's that pattern of of lack of capacity that really is a, the thing in my life that really defines what my life is like now more than more than the abuse i would say that it is the the brain damage from ect that has had a greater effect on the way that i live my life now but I still have the abuse present. The effects of the abuse present in my life is false beliefs and fears and anxiety. But I've been able to do healing work on that and reduce those things. But the ECT, I can't fix that. I haven't been able to fix those incapacities. I had spent some time thinking about what it actually is, the effect of the ECT, and when I think about it, I came, I came to the realization that, that it means that I cannot hold a picture of my life in my head. I understand that most people hold a, a picture of their life in their head and they can just come back to it, leave it and come back to it at any time. It just stays there very easily in their mind, very easily accessible. They have a picture of where they're headed in life. They can change things, change direction, adjust that picture of their life and use that as a guide for their life. But I can't, I cannot hold that picture. I can create a simple form of it, but I cannot keep it. My mind has lost the ability to keep that picture. So eventually when I drop that picture, when I f go to focus on something, then it's gone. It just is disappeared. It's not, it's not saved to access it at a later time. So every time I come back to looking at my life and how I want it to go and I'm creating that picture from scratch I don't I can't go and pick up the old one and and change it or make adjustments to it or add to it because it's it ceases to exist my mind cannot hold hold that picture and it seems to me that that is the primary reason why I cannot get anything together in my life is because I am not able to build on that picture over time because I I'm unable to store it that that for me according to to the way I, that I see my life that's that's what is the effect of the ECT and that is how it's affecting me 
I'm not sure about how other people interpret that effect, but for me, it it really is about not being able to hold that picture of my life and build on that and manifest around that. The only thing that I have in my mind that does have consistency over time is my higher self. That's the only part of me that holds a consistent plan for my life. And I usually don't have a lot of access to what that plan is. It's just, right now do this. That's mostly the information that I get. I do get some advanced warning of changes coming from my higher self. And that lets me know that it has an amazing ability to know how things are going to turn out. That it's the one that sees and knows and approves it again and again. So that that is the stability in my life. That higher self, the plan of my higher self, or whatever it turns out to be, that's that's the only plan that I have that is stable in my life.